What's up, y'all? Winnie here. And who's got two thumbs and just found out he's been using his microphone wrong for like two years? This guy. <laughs> Today we're going to be checking out the Yellowstone an Anomaly. But yeah, I didn't know what these various settings on the microphone did. I thought that the knob that was like, oh, it looks like it's just the microphone aimed at me was the right one. But the one right next to it erased all of the echo I'd been getting from my room. So I honestly... Why did I even get two different Yetis if I don't know what they do? Anyway, um, SCP-1422 says neutralized slash slash phenomenon see addendum 3. Alright. Map of Yellowstone National Park retrieved from U.S. National Park Services. Click to enlarge. All information on 1422 is restricted to personnel with level 4 operational clearance. As of... March 18th, 2009, all personnel have been informed of Yellowstone National Park's existence. And personnel with insufficient clearance have had their memories of SCP-1422 removed. The park itself? Uh, see Task Force LF4's for charter for information on Foundation efforts to identify the causal agent of 1422. The identification of this agent is of high priority. Description. SP-1422 was an anomalous phenomenon that, prior to July 9, 2007, prevented all Foundation personnel, including conscripted individuals such as disposable dudes and jointly employed personnel, from learning of the existence of Yellowstone National Park. A national park in the United States established in 1872, each year it is visited by over 2 million individuals from many nations. The existence of 1422 has been confirmed through several methods. In a 2008 survey of over 5,000 Foundation personnel, zero expressed knowledge of the park. This includes personnel who have lived in Wyoming for extended periods of time, personnel who consider themselves to be avid travelers and or naturalists, and three personnel embedded in the United States National Park Service. National Park Service's records do not show any purchases made by Foundation personnel within Yellowstone National Park, nor do they show purchases of permits or reservations of any kind by Foundation personnel. Purchases made by immediate family members of Foundation personnel are present, but at lower than expected numbers. The internet browsing histories of all Foundation-owned computers have shown a complete lack of searches directly relating to Yellowstone National Park, and relative to search histories obtained from non-Foundation sources, a lack of searches tangentially relating to the park prior to July 9, 2007. E.g. Yellowstone, Yellowstone National Park, Old Faithful, Hayton, Geological Survey, etc. The Foundation possesses no documentation that refers to Yellowstone National Park data earlier than July 9th, 2007. Interviewed personnel have either stated that they had no reason to pay attention to the area of the United States in which the Yellowstone National Park is located, or could not recall what, if anything, was located in that area. Several were able to recall conversations or events in which Yellowstone National Park would most likely be mentioned, but was not. Yellowstone National Park itself is not believed to have any unusual properties, as several investigations have not detected unusual levels of anomalous activity in the park or its vicinity. Approval for Foundation personnel to visit the park during vacations is pending. Addendum 1. SCP-1422 was discovered and is believed to have been neutralized on July 9, 2007 by junior researcher Scranton. G.R. Scranton had been asked to compile a record describing his experiences in SCP-3. It is capable of causing individuals to experience extended periods of time and alternate realities within the space of several hours. Further details are classified. The, um, let's see. In it, he included a two-paragraph description of a family vacation to Yellowstone National Park. J.R. Scranton noted that he had not heard of the park prior to his entrance into SCP blank. This documentation was reviewed by Dr. Graff and junior researcher Halver Halverson. And Graf is apparently SCP-2864. When Dr. Graf performed a cursory search of relevant reference materials and discovered that Yellowstone National Park not only existed, but was world famous and widely known, she sent an email to Site-44's mailing list asking personnel if they had heard of the park. When it became apparent that none had, Dr. Graf requested and obtained funding and personnel to investigate the anomaly further. Addendum 2. Information on the cause of and exact nature of 1422 is very limited. Several hypotheses relating to 1422 have been put forward. SCP-1422 was caused by a separate probability affecting anomaly, which may or may not have apparently unrelated properties. At time of writing, the Foundation does not possess the means to test this hypothesis. Yellowstone National Park did not exist prior to J.R. Scranton's exposure to SCP-blank, after which reality was altered to incorporate the park. 
This may have been due to unidentified properties of SCP blank, any of the materials used in his testing, or junior researcher Scranton. This behavior is not consistent with known information on SCP blank, and extensive research and excessive testing has shown that J.R. Scranton and the materials used to test the SCP are not anomalous. SCP-1422 has never prevented Foundation personnel from learning of Yellowstone National Park, but instead erased all memories of the park's existence upon their formation. If this is the case, research into SCP-868 may provide a method by which hypothetical anomalies similar to 1422 could be counteracted. For the time being, however, this hypothesis is not actionable. 1422 was created by a conscious agency in order to conceal activity in or near Yellowstone National Park from the Foundation. Investigation into various groups and persons of interest has not shown conclusively that any individuals or organizations are capable of creating or using an anomaly such as SCP-1422. However, as this hypothetical individual or group could not be expected to possess the means to prevent the Foundation from discovering them, this is not unexpected. Addendum 3 Several personnel have rightly pointed out that SCP-1422 may not be truly neutralized, but simply operating in a different manner that we are unable to recognize. Alternatively, numerous anomalies similar to 1422 may exist, each tailored to specific locations, individuals, or even concepts. Indeed, if either of these were proven to be true, SCP-1422 would most likely qualify for keter ubique classification and heavily revised containment procedures. However, as 1422 does not exhibit any observable anomalous properties except those that no longer appear to be in effect, it is considered neutralized until proven otherwise, Dr. Graf. May exist SCP-2602. All of these keep referencing SCPs that are like 1,200 SCPs away from where I'm at now. But that's going to do it for this episode. I guess they just don't know whether or not Yellowstone ever existed before they found out about it, and they never will. If you like this, a like and subscribe will be groovy. If you want to click the bell, you can do that as well so that you're notified of future uploads. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Later.